Hi, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Lorraine's Kitchen. It's so nice to see you. And I'm so glad that you joined me here today. Just special, because we're going to make some bread together. I'm so sorry that we really couldn't spend time together this year in Jesus' day, like we would normally do. Uh, I mean, we make bread, which is a really big hit for the kids. Maybe some of you remember, maybe you have an older brother or sister, and they brought home the delicious bread that you had with your family when your brother or sister received their first Holy Communion. But now it's your turn to make that delicious bread. So let's get started. So I hope that you have all the ingredients that you need. Um, if you don't, I did send uh, an email. You can take a look at that and there are the ingredients attached to the email. Uh, we can go through that anyway if you don't have it. And if you wanna just watch the demonstration, and then you can go uh, and, and do this on your own. And you can, the beauty of me recording this is you can watch it over and over again and go, go through step-by-step -step instructions of how to make bread. And I hope you have a lot of fun making bread with mom and dad and maybe your brothers and sisters. So let's get started. So first are uh, the ingredients that we have that we're gonna be using today is flour. And we have two different types of flour. Sorry, you see, I got my little Christmas thing here still left over from Christmas time. So this is whole wheat flour that you're gonna use, and we're going to use a little brown sugar. Mm -mm. That's gonna make it really sweet and tasty, and I'm just gonna step out of here for a little bit, and then we're going to use some white flour, and there's all the ingredients uh, that you need, uh, how much you need for each, each different type, and you're gonna get yourself, I'm gonna move this out of the way, because this is kind of ugly looking. I put them in bags, so this way they stay nice and, and, and uh, and preserve so that you can use them for a long time from now. So that's why I, I put my things in bags. So you're gonna need yourself a bowl. And then we have some baking soda that we're gonna use and also some honey. This also makes it really sweet and delicious. And what else? And then we need some um, margarine butter or you can even use Crisco uh, in, into, your, uh, into your little dough that we're going to make. Oh, I wanted to also mention here is our baker Snuggle Bun with us today. She's also going to be baking with us. So say hi, Snuggle Bun, hi. So, oh, before we get started, boys and girls, I already washed my hands, but I'm going to do it again. I have my little spray here, so I'm just gonna make sure that we clean our hands, right? So we wanna be nice and clean. And you might, whatever you're working on, any countertop, table, you make sure that you clean that area too. Because what you're gonna have to do, because the, the uh, the dough that we're gonna make for the bread gets kind of sticky, so we're gonna to need to put some flour down here on, on your table, on your surface, right? And you're gonna get a little bit messy. And it's sort of like making, uh, working with Play-Doh. I'm sure you boys and girls have played with Play-Doh before. So it's kind of sort of like that. So I'm gonna take my big bowl. Okay. Now I've already, I've already put out all the ingredients, boys and girls, that you're going to need. So I'm just gonna take them from each, each of the areas, each of the cups that I've already put them in, and we're gonna place them here. So this is my, white flour and that's going to go in a bowl like that and this is my wheat flour so you're going to take basically all your dry ingredients that you have and this is uh, some baking soda there's not really that many ingredients of this boys and girls it's kind of it's, it's pretty easy and fun and tasty i promise and then it's a little some salt and then the last thing is the margarine now I should have probably have let this sit a little bit longer um, uh, right now than it is. It's a little bit hard. So if you have Crisco, you might want to use that. That seems to work a little bit better, but margarine and, and butter is just fine, but you want to have it a little softer. Mine's like a little hard here. So I'm going to have a little bit of trouble working with this, but we're going to do the best we can. So what you would also do is you need to put your buttery margarine or Crisco into your dry mix. Okay. And then you're going to mash all of that all up. And you try to get that Crisco, that butter or margarine mixed up in your flour, okay? And once you get it at a nice consistency, and what, really what that means, boys and girls, you make sure you don't have any little, see like if I show you here, I have these little balls. This is still like the butter that's in here. You kind of just want to make sure you've gotten as much of that out as you can so it's all crumbly and it's all nice and even with the rest of your flour. Okay, and then, then what you're going to do is 
you're going to take your water and you're going to and your honey and you're going to put the honey into the water like this and you're going to have to have a a spoon and have all these things handy and we're going to put this in here we're mixing the honey in with the water mix that all up so you can try and get that a nice even mixture so that the honey blends in with the water as best you can it doesn't have to be perfect okay that could take that could take about 30 seconds or so maybe a minute so i'm kind of going through this a little bit quicker than maybe um, you would do so i'm just demonstrating so i don't want to take up too much of your time here so you can stop and pause at any time uh, as you go along making your bread so now I'm going to pour the water and the honey into my flour mixture. And now I am ready to knead. Okay, can you see that? So then you're gonna start kneading. And this is where it starts getting really messy. This is where I kind of feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh. And you're gonna keep kneading and kneading and kneading. And by the way, boys and girls, this makes this batch that we're doing here, it's going to make four breads, four loaves of breads. So hopefully you'll be able to plenty to share and hopefully that you'll have it at, uh, at a meal sometime soon with your family. You know, this was something that, that Jesus did, you know, when he was living on earth over 2,000 years ago. He loved to invite himself over to people's homes for dinner. And bread was one of the big, big things that people ate back in them time. They, they loved bread, it was so delicious, just the way we love it too. But that was one of their big staple um, meals that, that, that they would eat. And, and bread was a big part of that, right? And Jesus loved eating with his friends. Sometimes it gets a little bit too sticky and we might need a little more water. Um, so it might be a good idea, and I should have done that, but I didn't. So I'm gonna step over here at my, at my sink. And I'm just going to get a little more water. So could, could think about that when you're doing this. And maybe just have some water on the side just to kind of help you with the stickiness. So that it's not, not too sticky. You want, don't want it too hard. You want, what you want to do is you want to get it kind of a nice, nice, soft consistency. And that it's all blended in and it's all good to go. And we're getting really close. So we're getting really, really close to that point where I'm just about ready to put it on to the counter and then we can roll it out and get ready to put it on to our cooking plate and cook it. Now, at, while you're doing this, you can ask mom and dad to set the oven at three, 350. Okay, so that by the time you finish this, it'll be, the oven will be nice and ready and hot and good to go for you to put your bread into the oven. And it takes about between 12 and 15 minutes to cook, so it's not a very long time, and you can watch it while it's cooking. And okay, so I might need just a little bit tad more water, and I think we are good. So now, now I'm ready to put this on my counter surface, but before I do that, because it is kind of sticky, and look at my hands, they're kind of sticky. So I'm gonna take some flour, and I'm gonna put it on the counter. And then I'm gonna take out my dough. Let's put this over here. And then I'm just gonna kind of roll this out. And this is the fun part, boys and girls. Now, if you have a, um, if you have a roller, maybe mom and dad have one. And actually, I think I do have one. I probably should have taken that out. Um, so I'll show you just, just because it's kind of a fun thing to do. And, and if you've never used one before, this might be good. A good chance, a good opportunity to use one. We call this a rolling pin. And you don't really have to use it, but it might be something fun. If you've never tried it before, if mom and dad have one, you might want to try it. And you can just kind of blend it out. Sort of like, almost kind of making it look like a little bit like a pizza. You all like pizza? Everybody like pizza? I know I do. I love pizza. This is not quite like a pizza, but you know what? It's bread. And pizza is made from bread. But this is actually really delicious. So we are just about there. We are looking good. We are looking really good. Now, remember, boys and girls, I told you this makes about, actually, what we could do here 
This makes four loaves. So I'm going to divide it in half, okay? And then again, another half. So we have four different pieces, right? Now you can use a knife if you want to. You have mom and dad help you with that. Or you can use your fingers like I did. So then you could take each one, roll it up in a ball, okay? And then... Roll it in the bowl like this, and then flatten it out. Just like that. And we'll do that with the other three after we're finished here, because I just, we're just about done here with our demonstration, okay? So this is pretty much ready to go, just like this. It looks, it looks kind of small, but what'll happen? It'll rise a little bit, not too much bigger than this, but it's nice and dense. That means it's really, it, it's really thick and it's really, really tasty and, and delicious. And I hope you enjoy it. And one last thing that I would do with this, which I should have brought out that too. I forgot that as well. Sorry about that. I'm sort of using you guys as my guinea pigs. I'm recording this the night before I'm actually doing Zoom. So you know, you're helping me out here. So what you might want to do, and again, ask mom and dad to help you with a knife, is why don't you make a cross on your bread? So you could do just like this, the one way, and then the other. And then you have a cookie sheet. I'm sure mom and dad have one. You put a little wax paper, parchment paper, and you're gonna place your four, your four breads. And I didn't do these right because I just wanted to demonstrate, I just wanna show you, so these aren't really done, but I just wanna show you what it kind of looks like. Look at that. And it's all ready now to go into the oven. And what I'll do is I'm going to post on the website and I'll send it to you along with this video so you can get to see what it looks like after it's all done. So I hope you get a chance to spend some time and have some fun with mom and dad, maybe brothers and sisters and make and make some bread. Now remember this makes four, uh, four different loaves, but you can double the recipe. You can you can uh, divide the recipe in half and only make two. It's your choice, have some fun with it. Okay, so enjoy having a meal with your parents, with sharing bread, just like Jesus did with, with his friends and his disciples and apostles over 2000 years ago. So, and something to look forward to when you receive Jesus in your heart and mind and for the very first time in the first Eucharist. And I look forward to seeing you at your wonderful celebration day and have a good day. God bless.